studying the structure of derived words is a smart approach to understanding the way the language is shaped. Patterned words are essential features for identifying the character of parts of speech within the rules of language. So far you've become knowledgeable if you've been watching my previous videos about some techniques for quadrilateral verbal nouns, derivations and how verb forms take a crucial part in the process with their distinct patterns that are used for mapping Arabic. So, make sure that you're able to recognize the set of templates suggested for each type of verb or noun for reference. A question. How would you identify a Form 3 verb? The idea is based upon its pattern, which is fa'ala, fa'ala, like shahada, shahada, to watch, ra'qaba, ra'qaba, to observe, surveil, monitor. And its related verbal nouns may follow two patterns. Mu fa'ala, mu fa'ala, or fi'al, fi'al. While mu fa'ala is more popular than the other and considered as a unique pattern among the rest because it starts with the letter mu, which makes it easier to remember and there are few patterns starting this way. Fi'al does also work for the same purpose of generating quadrilateral verbal nouns for form three verbs. Fa'ala. So back to our example, the verb shahada, shahada, to watch. Shahada filmen ala Netflix. Shahada. The verb shahada. So the root is sheen ha dal. And we introduce the alif after the first radical to have form three. Fa'ala. Filmen. Filmen is the object of the verb shahada. He watched a movie in the accusative with double fatha because it's indefinite. Ala Netflix. On Netflix. He watched a movie on Netflix. So let's convert the verb shahada to its verbal noun using either mufa'ala or fi'al but we will focus on mufa'ala as a popular um, pattern so shahada mu shahada ending with a ta marbuta the tide ta Mushahadatu filmin ala Netflix. Mushahadatu filmin ala Netflix. So, what kind of changes we're observing here? So, the sentence turned to a nominal one since it starts with a noun. Mushahada. And the object of shahada turns to a genitive noun with the sign of double kasra because it's indefinite and because it's part of a possessive construction that happens when we have two nouns back to back. 
مشاهدة first noun and film second that's why we were witnessing a genitive construction مشاهدة فيلم على Netflix so in this context we notice that the object of the transitive verb شاهدة turns to a genitive noun as part of a possessive construction that may be required within the use of verbal nouns to underline the acquired action as within our example that necessitates the use of a direct object to complete the idea like مشاهدة المسلسلي مشاهدة المسلسلي المسلسلي is a, a, a definite noun that's why we use one كسرة okay المسلسلي not مسلسلين so مشاهدة المسلسلي watching the TV series مشاهدة المسرحية الجديدة مشاهدة المسرحية الجديدة and الجديدة is a modifying adjective it's modifying المسرحية that's why they match in number gender definiteness and grammatical case مشاهدة المسرحية الجديدة watching the new play the new الجديدة new and since المسرحية is a feminine noun so is its modifying adjective right ending with a the feminine the ta of femininity المسرحية الجديدة the use of verbal nouns suggests the possessive construction when the verb from which its derivation happens is transitive meaning requiring a direct object to receive the action لا كما لا كما it's two box مو لا كما following the pattern مو فعلا boxing صارع and you see form 3 always the first radical is followed by a an alif and of course preceded by a fatha so the long vowel alif has always to be preceded by a fatha صارع to wrestle مصارع wrestling صادفة to encounter مصادفة coincidence عانقة to hug معانقة a hug باركة to bless مباركة a blessing always ending with a تا of femininity the تايد تا so بارك الله فيك بارك الله الله is the subject of بارك so God bless and the subject in Arabic uh, comes after its verb فيك بارك في بارك goes well with the preposition في so you God bless you بارك الله فيك and that object pronoun specifies the person in question فيك you I think you're getting the idea so Know your patterns and expand your 
vocabulary. Haseba. Form 3 verbs. Haseba. To hold someone accountable for something. Muhasaba. Muhasaba. Following mufa'ala. Accounting. Bookkeeping. Hisab is another noun. Hisab means calculation. Bill. Invoice in a restaurant. Etc. So if you want to ask for the bill in a, at a restaurant, you would have to say the check, please. Can I have the check, please? Al hisab, al hisab, the check. Lo samahd, please. Al hisab, lo samahd, or al hisab, min fadlik. Al hisab, min fadlik, please, min fadlik. If you're not that courteous person, cut it short and say Al Hisab, the check Al Hisab. Form three Saada Saada to help to assist Mu Saada Mu Faala help Hal Yumkinuka. أن تساعدني هل يمكنك أن تساعدني Can you help me? هل is an interrogative particle that is added to a declarative sentence to change it into a yes or no question يمكنك Yum kinuka, you can. Yum kinuka, you can. From am kana, am kana, am kana to be possible for someone to do something. Am kana to be possible for someone to do something. So yum kinu an, yum kinu an, it's possible that. Yumkinu an. It's possible that this phrase is impersonal, and you add an object to specify the spoken of. That's why you have yumkinu ka. That ka, specifying you, addressing you, second person, singular, masculine, ki feminine. So. The conjunction N, هل يمكنك N, introduces the subjunctive mood. So, you have a subjunctive verb clause in place of the verbal noun. هل يمكنك مساعدتي? هل يمكنك مساعدتي? So, we don't have N, we use the verbal noun. Musaada, and then we add the ya because I'm referring to myself. Like Musaada T, myself. I need help for myself. Musaada T. Ahtaju ila al Musaada. This is another way to say the same thing. So I need help. Ahtaju. إلى and أحتاج the verb أحتاج is construed with إلى it's coupled with the preposition إلى أحتاج إلى المساعدة the verbal noun uh, the definite verbal noun المساعدة I need help and that's it for today إلى اللقاء